Yeah, you also do some other things as well. So um, you said you're all into like your health and that as well. But yeah. I hear or I know that um, you're also into your CMOS as well, isn't it? Mm. So Ingrid's literally like, what can I say, man? Like she's producing like some of the best CMOS in town. Um, These are not my words. Like, I've literally got mine here as well. So um, yeah, where can people actually get them? And wait, what made you start doing it in the first place actually? Again, going back to your question where I was challenging myself, yeah. like my physical health. Like, I've always been, again, I attribute this a lot to my upbringing anyway. Both yeah, my yeah. parents were very much about healthy eating, um, drinking enough fluids. Mm. Um, both my parents um, raised us really well in terms of our dietary and fluid intake. Mm. So I've always been about that anyway. Mm. I am a foodie, but I like nice food. I like food that's healthy. Mm. So um, part of that time when I was kind of doing a check-in, like, where are you at? Mm. Like, what's going on for you? Like, are you, you know, so I... Um, the physical health side of things it was like i was learning about my foods now and my, my like so with me i've got fast metabolism mm. so i was saying to my personal child i'm losing weight i don't want to lose weight yeah, yeah. <laughs> i want to turn up you know what can i do and all these kind of things even prior to that i've always been a smoothie person i've been smoothing for years i just love it so um what happened was i got ill mm. and um the lady that used to i think i got covid mm. And um, prior to that, anyway, the lady that used to lock my hair, she she knew someone that made CMOS. Mm. And when I got COVID and I, I had recovered, um, she um, dropped some to my door because I said, oh, can you get me some of that CMOS? Mm. She's done the drop off at the door. And then I had some of that CMOS as part of my recovery. And I was like, yeah, OK, this is good stuff. But admittedly, it was a bit expensive. yeah. And I'm a very cost-effective person. I'm economic, and I was economical. And I thought, well, why can't I make this? Mm. What does it take to make this yourself? Mm. And because I'm into smoothing and juicing, I find that so therapeutic. Like mm. with me, don't bother me. Like I'll have all my fruits and vegetables there, and I'll experiment with different flavors, and I'll literally have like like time with my smoother and my juicer and stuff like that. So I wanted to learn how to make it myself. So I was like, why not? So I learned how to make it. So I'd done my research and then bought some. And yes, there's pool grown, there's wild crafted, and there's sea harvested mm. sea moss. I need to get the sea harvested sea moss. Mm. That one's rare. Mm. It's the best of the best, mm. yeah? The Wild best of the best? The best of the best. So if anyone knows who does sea harvested sea moss, please let us know. Mm. Um, but what's, what you can find is wild crafted. Obviously, it's farmed in the sea. Mm. But wild harvested um, sea moss. Yeah. Is that they actually go to the bottom see mm. where it is in its natural surrounding and then they pick it from there mm. um and then the pool grown is they try to grow it in a pool tank and uh, it's it's not the right stuff yeah, yeah. it's not the real stuff i don't know i don't know about real stuff but it's not as healthy mm. and nutritious as obviously the one in the sea because the nutrition comes from the sea mm and um so i did all my research i learned about it literally around this time last year mm. i started to mess around with sea moss and blend it and you know and see like can i really do this and i mm. realized oh this is easy mm. to some people it's long because it is a process the washing of it and then soaking it for a long time and then blending it up and all of that kind of stuff it, it, it does take long but again i find that stuff therapeutic mm. so i love it. it doesn't feel like work for me so i made some and i realized oh what am i buying it for when i can make it myself yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's cheaper right it's cost effective and um, so I started doing that. And then somebody said to me around that time, around that, this time last year, said to me, oh, Ingrid, you love doing this stuff. Like, why don't you just get paid to do it? Like, mm. it's, it's a hobby. You can make money from your hobby. Mm. And again, because I was on my journey of learning financial literacy and saving wise and, and having different streams of income, it was like, oh, yeah. Light bulb moment. You know, I enjoy doing this. I do this, like, effortlessly. Let me see in it. Let me just test. So I went and bought some jars. And I bought some bottles, made some juices and just priced them up and just put it out there and just said, hi guys, you know, I'm selling this. I was amazed at how many people, because some people genuinely want to eat and drink healthy, yeah. can't be bothered or time or whatever. So I had a few customers buy my smoothies yeah. of me and they liked my smoothies. I was like, oh, thanks. And then, but not so many on the smoothie side because it is expensive to smooth. So I understand yeah. why a lot of people don't, but the CMOS, my customers just built up over the mm. past year 
um they just built up over and over and um as time has gone by a year yeah. in now i have a lot more customers than i started off with yeah. last year but because it was something that i naturally consumed like i didn't even the self advertising it was just me just showing like the the benefits of it it's mm. good for your skin it's good for your body you know um and more and more people have started to mm. get see more of me yeah and you remain authentic as well man like yeah. you even said how like you got like a bad batch and you didn't um, sell that to your um, customers as well. Yeah, so no, like that's 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 my authentic. Yeah, so you're getting a good sell. Let, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You want, you want to take it out? Yeah, you got to get close to the mic. That no one can hear yeah. you still. That's you, yeah. yeah. So this is just like um, the smallest jar. So I think 180 mils. Yeah. Um, then I do a 250 mil job. Like with me again, like a lot of my um, creativity goes into it. So I'm extra. Yeah. <laughs> no offense to anybody. <laughs> but when I used to buy sea was you just, just come, just jar, and that's it, a lid. Yeah. Now I may have to add a little extra of my personality yeah, on, on this. So yeah. I've got the jar, the, the jar covers, and I, I enjoy all of this stuff again. Yeah. Like, you know, so. Um, Wait, so how, how much is it for um, like the different sizes? So the 180 mil is just a new, I haven't even priced this one yet, oh, okay, I'll cool, be honest, cool, because cool, most cool. people like to get the 250 mils, which is eight, eight pounds. Okay. And then um, the 500 mils, which is 13 pounds. And recently, some of my customers have requested 100, um, sorry, 1,000 mils. Mm. So um, I'm just trying in the process okay, of ordering cool. Obviously, jars. it sounds like reasonable prices, isn't it? So like, yeah. you're getting a good deal. So yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, there is a lot of people out there, I'll be honest. Um, different people price it differently, and there mm. could be different reasons um, as to why they price it. I'm not saying that I would sell this um, for secret reasons, because again, remember, this was a hobby for me. It wasn't... So even if, like, I can have... I can go three, four months, no one buys emails of me. Mm. I'm not actively, like, going out yeah, there, yeah, but yeah. the more and more my customers have grown, the more and more I was like, actually, you know what? I need to set up some farmer market, mm. like set, set up shop at a farmer market, you know, um, and these are some of the things that I'm making myself accountable now. These yeah, are some yeah, of the yeah. things that I'm, I'm pushing myself to do next year because you just don't know where it can go mm. and it's fun. Yeah. Um, but I've always kept my prices reasonable because again, I'm, I'm mindful of um, the economic crisis we're under. Yeah, I know that eating healthy is expensive. Yeah, You know, we can have a whole conversation about this yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, so a lot of people want to just can't afford it. Yeah. So um Especially with CMOS, everyone's like starting to realise how beneficial it is as well, isn't it? Like and yeah. getting it is can can be difficult, especially like getting the right yeah, one. Yeah. And yeah. so that's really good what you're doing. How can people get some man? Right. Okay, so I haven't set up a Instagram page yet simply because I want to do things properly. So I want to trademark my name first. Mm. So that's why I haven't got an Insta page for it, just in case people are wondering why am I not on Instagram, it's wisdom. Mm. But soon I will have a specific Instagram page for it. But so for now, if people just email me on uh, Ingie May at... How can I I, I'll I'll add it in the description. It? <laughs> <laughs> I'll add that there. <laughs> right, the contact details will be added in the description. So you might try plugging people in. They don't know your own email. Like, it's cool, it's cool. It's can cool. I get it? No, it's cool. I, I'll add it in the description. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, that's nice, okay. that's nice. But because like your, your body is literally like your vehicle for life. That's absolutely. what people don't realise, like... Absolutely. The same way you might want to give your car MOT, whatever, like, you need to do that for your body as well because, like, what you do consume is eventually going to dictate or determine how far you get on in life. Like, in, you can literally just think about a vehicle. Whether you're going to um, reach a certain mileage, like, that all depends on what you consume as well. It's mad you use that analogy because I always say, like, what we eat, especially the healthy stuff, is petrol. Mm. I always use that. Yeah, so it's okay, mad that you're cool, using yeah, vehicle yeah. because I say it's petrol like for your cells. When they are your body is so sophisticated um that if you only consume a small amount of vitamins and minerals, it will prioritize your main organs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you give it as much as it needs or more, so like I try to aim seven a day, at least five times a week. Mm. And then you have the odd occasion where you've had one or two fruits. It's all, it's all right. If you can do it every day, please do it. Sometimes I do. Sometimes there's the odd one or day where I've just had like an, like maybe a smoothie. I always have a smoothie, a smoothie, and then a bit of vegetables. But more time than ever, I do aim to have at least five to seven a day. Mm. And that's in the form of a smoothie, 
see me if we've got a lot of nutrition in it. Um, my um, my dinner, I'll have lots of vegetables. Lunchtime, you can avocado and toast. You, you can build up these things slowly without even realizing. Mm. If you see what I mean, and um, when you do that, you are allowing yourselves to have the right amount of petrol to repair your body and and regenerate wherever it needs to be regenerated. Um, heal. Um, when we sleep at night, this is why good sleep is good because your body naturally goes through its healing hours. So one of the things I do is I drink lemon water, that fresh mm. lemon and water. Yeah. Because that just goes straight into your bloodstream. Yeah. Well, in, in the morning, isn't it? No, I do well, it at night. Time. Oh, I do it in the morning. Oh, nice. oh no, I do it. When I, it's better than coffee. When I do it at mm. night, I wake up like burst of oh, energy. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, And it helps through the healing hours and stuff like that. So a lot of people say to me, oh, your skin's so nice. Mm. Diet. Like, seriously, diet. Well, we said about petrol is true as well, because like, you notice the difference in like your cast performance when you're low on petrol. Yeah. And when it's full, a full tank, like you're literally like booming. So yeah, imagine your body, booming. like it works the same way. Yeah, it works the same way. Like it's mad. But um, health is wealth, man. Health is wealth. 